All right, so the Naria discussion has come back into the mainstream, and I wanted to talk about this, but it just wasn't going on at the time. I wanted to talk about it, so fortunately, it came back up again. And uh, to get into the subject, we're going to have to play a game, a game where we look closely at the things that are going on, a game. Okay. A stupid joke. Well, I've been reading a lot of song and Ice of Fire and watching a lot of clips. So I felt like making that. Maybe you think it's a waste of time. It is what it is. Now, if you don't know the whole Nario situation, basically, he claims that he was forced into acts with a minor named Captain Zack. He says the first time he asked him to stop and he wouldn't stop until Captain Zack actually pushed him off of him. And the second time he uh, was blackmailed into it because he thought the best situation, the best choice to, do, to have to make here was to uh, engage again with the minor in these actions. Why he didn't call somebody, let somebody know this was going on. It's really ridiculous, but we do have this guy who spoke out on the entire situation. I know, I know Tech just recently dropped his video and I watched that and I, just, I mean, look, I'm just gonna throw this thing as an aside. I think, I think if anybody else was pre presenting this information, I feel like it'd be a lot of easily more digestible and believable, but because people don't like Tech, they don't want to uh, side with him, right? But after watching that last video and like, honestly, I've been thinking about this for a while, right? There's way more evidence to, to, to prove that at the very least, it was a little fishy looking. That's all I'm gonna say. You know what I mean? And I think I think I think people are starting to wise up. But unfortunately, it is tech that's uh that is presenting this information, and people are not a fan of him. Yeah, man. I mean, that's at, you know at, at some point in time, you just gotta face the facts, bro. It's it's, it's not a good look. And and, and it, it, like if there's a way that you could try to justify it, I mean, I think I think if that 30, 30 page document came out and it really had some like real like yeah, bro, this is what happened, like, blah, 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 then, like, sick, right? But because it's, like, hidden from the public, it's kind of hard to, like, it's almost like you have to take word of mouth, and I just don't think that, like, we can't really, like, take word of mouth for this situation anymore. We need to see some shit. We need to see something. Like, if you really want to be, like, exonerated by everybody, like, oh, we need to see something, bro. So it seems like Nairo got manipulated, though. That's the, that's the thing, though, bro. Like, he was 15, bro. Ain't no 15-year-old ever mixing me in life. You might mix me in the game, but you'll never mix me like that in life. <laughs> what the fuck now if you don't know that guy is tk brizzy breezy who is pretty important on the smash scene he happens to be a commentator so a voice like his being out on something of this caliber is really important especially when people want to discount technicals because in their mind they just hate him so much it's really weird i don't understand it it feels really stupid but people in the smash community are just so anti-technicals that they'll just defend anybody now i saw this tweet from a fake jisoo account and to be honest with you i fell for it i really did i didn't look at the ad then i went to the actual profile it's fake but it's a pretty good parody they better watch their back before elon gets them that's neither here nor there. We also had some really bad takes. Bro, I hate that take. Captain Zack sunk like three people's pro careers by adult hunting. I really hate that people are giving him an out. Disappointed, Breezy. Remember being 15? Zack knew what was up. It's wrong on both sides and saying otherwise is goofy. Um, so the thing here is uh, just because an, a minor is going after an adult, it doesn't mean that the minor is like a bad person. Uh, he was 15 at the time. And, you know, you know right from wrong when you're 15. And it's simple as that. He was wrong in that situation, but he probably was looking up to them. It was like, oh, I tried to get with them. And he was, he was just going after MILFs. Uh, the M and MILF being man instead of mother. Uh, so... You know, it is what it is. I don't think that going after Captain Zack really does anything here. Yeah, he shouldn't have done it, but like, he was getting groomed. Uh, what do you, what do you want? Uh, just a really bad take. Uh, adult hunting is the craziest, craziest statement. I just, 
see about this entire thing. Uh, let's go to the next one. Anyone still looking to cause a fuss over the Adnario situation is just looking for attention and hasn't grown up. Don't matter what homie did, he repented and was forgiven by the majority of the community. He literally just plays at home and y'all mad rent free with him and you're dumb. Um, so just because a group of people forgive somebody doesn't mean that they're off the hook for engaging in acts with a minor. But let's keep in mind here what he actually did allege. He engaged with a minor. Even if his story is 100% true, him deciding to engage with Captain Zack the second time over blackmail, quote unquote, is stupid. Point blank, period. It's stupid. Let's keep going. He banged a kid, man. Stop acting like he did something minor. I mean, he did do a minor. It's not minor. He did bang a minor. But even so, I'm willing to forgive him. Everyone messes up, man, sometimes big and sometimes small. But no matter what happens, everyone deserves second chances. This guy's a great dude besides the issues at hand. Second chances doesn't exist, unfortunately. I gotta go with my, my guy Marco Myers over here. Um, Second chances doesn't really apply when you're talking about engaging with a minor. Like, it's so ridiculous. People can't look past their own fandom. They can't. They They simply cannot. Like, just because he did it a while back doesn't make it okay now. Like, you can say you forgive him, but that doesn't mean that he should be allowed at Smash events. That's why I'm going to title this video, Please Ban Nario. Because he's not currently banned from any Smash events, which means he still has access to children. I don't know for sure what the truth is, but he, his story, what he says himself does not make him look good. All right, I'm gonna take another look at his statement. I brought it up earlier, but I wanna read a little bit of it to you and just talk about it. Saturday of CEO Dreamland, April 15th, 2017. Zach and his friend told me that they booked their hotel incorrectly and now needed a place to stay for the rest of the weekend. His friend had already found someone to stay with, but no one would take Zach and they told me he'd be stranded otherwise. With that reason, they told me I was his last option and so I reluctantly agreed to let Zach stay in my room. We slept in our own separate beds, but I woke up to Zach molesting me. I freaked out, terrified, but my body froze up and he forcefully performed acts on me. I yelled at him to stop, but he refused and he only stopped once I managed to push him off me. I was so shaken up by everything, what he just did, his betrayal of my trust, and letting him say that I just shut down. So, I don't know why, like, I guess it makes sense for him to let somebody he knows stay with him, but like, it just feels off already. Like, the fact that you're having people that are like, with such a disproportionate age gap, stay in the same room, it's, it's just weird. It's off, I don't know of very many examples of that happening where it's, uh, been a good situation uh, but I've heard people say that like there are messages of people saying like don't let Zach sleep in Nario's room or stuff like that and I don't have the screen cop so take this with a grain of salt but still like it just seems weird to me but hey let's keep reading on Sunday Zach attempted to touch me again without warning and I rejected him listing that this was illegal and I felt disgusted about yesterday he kept pressuring me despite my pleas, and when I told Zach to leave, he threatened to expose me, saying he'd tweet out that we did sexual things. I couldn't believe it and begged him to stop this, but Zach held it over my head. He blackmailed me into a second hour encounter of acts, which he gave up midway out of annoyance at how unwilling I was. He had me under his thumb after, and I had no choice but to not get on his bad side because of his threats. Okay, so I'm, I'm not trying to dissect trauma here, okay, but let's go by his story. If you in that moment realized on Saturday that it was wrong, and you went through the trouble of shoving the guy off of you, why would you then let him stay with you on, on, Saturday, on Sunday? Why would you not just say, alright, you gotta get out, I don't care where you go, but you gotta go. Like... It's just so wild. And why are you as a grown man, like like that guy said in the beginning, like, I'm not getting bamboozled or finessed or whatever he said. Like, you're not doing me like that. If you, he was like 25 and this kid's like 15, like, 
that's so ridiculous. Why didn't you just say, well, okay, I'll just tweet out that you forced me into it. I, I don't understand. Again, I'm not trying to dissect trauma, so I don't think that's the point of what I'm saying. The point of what I'm saying is his story doesn't make very much sense. And it, it's so weird because at the very least, he's not responsible and he's not uh, very good at thinking on the fly. That That is very clear to me that he uh, was definitely out of his fish out of water. And again, I'm saying is that this was all true, which there's enough cracks and holes in the story to make me question that. But I'm going to end off things here because there's nothing really else to say. I think that Nairo shouldn't be at any more Smash events, and I think more and more people like TK Brizzy should come out and be like, hey, this stuff is wrong. But thank you all for watching. Goodbye.